Today we're looking at testing RCBOs at 250 milliamps. This is because BSEN 61008-1 allows RCBO manufacturers to set the tripping current for the 5 times test at either 5i or 250 milliamps. So if you do get a reading of greater than 40 milliseconds when you're doing the test, it may be that it falls in the category of the 250 milliamp test. If that's the case, and you would need to check this with the manufacturer first, it's very simple to do on the MFT range. Simply select the variable setting on the secondary dial and put the primary dial on the 5i setting. At the top there, you can see in this particular case, we've got a reading of 35 milliamps. In order to get the 250 milliamps, we need to make that 50 because five times 50 is 250. By simply pressing the mode key, that brings in the two little arrows on the side of the display, which always refer to the ones on these two knobs here, and just count your way up until you get to 50. And as I say, five times 50 is 250. Press the mode key to lock it into place again. We can now carry on and do a normal test. It will default to the naught degrees. So if I do the test at this point, we can trip off, we get a reading of 7.17 milliseconds reset the RCBO, press the mode key again to in introduce the 180 degrees, do the test, we get a result of 16.6 which would be your recorded reading.